How y'all doing? Oh my goodness. Come eat with Aggie. How are y'all? What's going on with my hair? Huh? How y'all doing today? Y'all doing good? Y'all doing well? Perfect. So, I wanted to start, um, come eat with Aggie this way, you know. I started off by cooking you guys food and yeah, I like cooking. Um, I cook when I, I'm most motivated when I'm sad um, or stressed. And so a lot of times I just get in the kitchen and I just start cooking, right? But then I forget to set up the camera. Right, production out here. Um, so yeah, we here. So I was like, I can just do, you know, a small little mukbang and in between show y'all some recipes. Um, this, that, and third. I have some exciting news um, for what's to come with Kamiwa Aggie. Let me tell y'all one thing about Kamiwa Aggie, right? Um, so Kamiwa Aggie maybe was birthed years ago. Um, and the reasoning is because I know that God, that's my purpose, right? And everybody has always told me, like, I am the person that, you know what I'm saying, can get along with people, that, you know, I can sit at a table and welcome everybody, regardless of their race, color, creed, uh, financial status, or what have you. I'm just that type of person, which I believe I am. So, that's where Come Eat With Aggie came about. And then I wrote two cookbooks. Um, one was my first family um, recipe type book. And then the second one was um, Feed, which was cooking on a budget. And so I am here to announce that I'm working on a third book. Um, it's for the grown and sexy though. So if you're like young and you know, you don't like to, you know saying, get into the grown and sexy stuff, uh, or it may not be your, your, your thing, but we grown, I turned 37, I'll be 38 this year. Um, grown and sexy, okay? So I'm pretty excited about it. I don't have a particular launch date. I'm just gonna let it flow. I finished the book. Um, it's in the process of editing right now, formatting. I just don't know what time I want to release it. Um, I thought about this month, but then I was like, you know what? Child, I'm gonna let it do what it do. But, you know, that's how I work. I, I don't like to work under pressure. Anybody like to work under pressure? I know I don't. So I'm just gonna pull up some stuff here because I am kind of semi-working, uh, doing some other things. I'm gonna eat, talk with y'all. What I made this morning, some fried rice. I'm upset because of the simple fact that my rice, I have never overcooked rice and I love cooking this rice. So it's a little, it's a little gummy for my taste, but it's still good, okay? So my fried rice, it's just onions, spinach, eggs, and rice. A little soy sauce, a little rice, uh, rice vinegar. That's it. A little chili paste. <laughs> chili paste is spicy. I got some fruit. I try to eat fruit every day, every morning. Um, Cause you know we, we, in a, we in a panini. Um, and I just try to make sure my immune system's up. So what we gonna key about? So here's the thing. I actually recorded something with uh, one of my best friends and we didn't capture it on one of the main memory cards, but I do have it on my cell phone. It's just at a different angle. Um, I'm still gonna post it because it was fun and we're gonna redo it. But what we're gonna key about this morning, it ain't gonna be long. I've been doing these little series on Instagram on my, on my personal page and I figure let's do it and talk and eat. So today, I literally woke up um, yesterday yesterday, Sunday, January 31st, because January was the longest year ever, right? So it popped off. Oh, FYI, it may be a little cussing in these videos, so if y'all have an issue about that, you might not wanna listen. I should've put a disclaimer earlier, but I'm gonna be me. Anybody that knows me, this is who I am. This ain't no fake, no, no, no fraud, anything like that. If you know me before, I want to apologize because you did get a different type of version of me. I want to apologize um, to y'all because I was, I did act a certain way with certain people, but then when I'm around my people that I'm cool with, y'all got me. So, anyways, yesterday was a hell of a day, right? I mean, so so bad that I stayed in bed all day yesterday. Um, it definitely, I don't have many of those days, but when I do, 
I put my phone on do not disturb and sleep mode. That means that when you call me, it going straight to voicemail. So y'all, anybody call me yesterday, January 31st, or so whenever y'all see this video, January 31st, and I answer the phone, that's the reason why. I just had a bad day. And so after it, like maybe about 5 p.m., I sat up in my bed and I was like, okay, Agatha, you need to re-strategize your life. Like there's some shifting and changing that's about to happen. I can feel it, I can sense it. And if y'all see me looking outside, um, I just bought a house, it's so pretty. Um, but they're building houses across the street so they keep walking past. And I know some of the workers out there, so they probably like, why she got open that lines open? My lines ain't really open. This is the only good sunlight coming into my house. One and two, I ain't bought no light shit. Anybody wanna donate lights, let me know. Um, but anyway, I sat up in my bed at five o'clock yesterday and I was just like, um, oh man, I should've got in. I was like, Girl, get your life together. And so, getting my life together, that means that, you know, I need to set a schedule to record these things that we have going on, that I have going on, right? And so, that's what I did. So, I got up, put my makeup on, did my little hair. It's growing too, y'all. And I put some clothes on. I mean, these really ain't clothes. It's what I lounge around in. But, and I came downstairs, cooked a simple meal. It don't have to be, you know, I, for me, I'm a perfectionist. So, I always think that everything has to be perfect. I have to cook this bomb meal. No, cook. Cook you some fried rice like you would normally do. Get you a little fruit, get you water in your coffee, sit down and talk to the people. So that's what I did today. So we're gonna sit here and talk and keep you keep a little bit. But if you follow me on Instagram, you know I do these little TED Talks. I really, I need to rename them. Because they don't need to be called TED Talk, because I don't wanna get give TED no money. You know, no, no, no attention. See I have me come up with a name. But I was watching um Something, I think it was Facebook or Instagram, I've been seeing it all over. And um, everybody might think that this is weird that I'm, I'm coming like this because, you know, I am a Christian. But mm, I'm sick of us, okay? And the reason being is because we can have so much judgment and shame on people, it is ridiculous. We be sending folks to the Lord, like I say on my Insta story before they need to be because of the judge and the, the judgment and the shame that we cast on people, right? And so it was particularly this post that I saw, it's numerous, it's not dedicated to just one, but um, I've been seeing a lot of people, you know, saying like, yo, you women of God and you men of God doing these challenges, like y'all are intense. Like y'all need to get out, get out, sit down somewhere, like stop doing it. And for me, we're in a panorama. Um, I don't want my, so I'm, I'm gonna say that because I've been hearing that if you say, they take your crap down. So, if you see me or you hear me say panorama, things of that nature, uh, panini and stuff like that, that's what I'm referring to. But, I understand as a body of Christ, you're supposed to emulate a certain particular light, things of that nature, you don't go towards the world. Y'all ain't finna be throwing Bible scriptures at me either. You're not finna be doing all that. I understand it, I get it, I read my Bible, right? But because everybody's been in the house for a year, full blown year, um, we really ain't got nothing to do. You can't go nowhere, you can't eat, you can't eat out unless it's outside and all this other stuff. You can't really hang out with your friends, you can't really see your family. People are bored. And when they're bored, either they become depressed or like I'm seeing with a lot of people, they're becoming creatives and they're making their life fun because the things that they used to do for fun or whatever they used to do to make them happy are, 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 are sniped off among them, right? So you got the, the couple of challenges, the blessed challenge and the um, silhouette challenge. Little challenge about to be out there. You know what I'm saying? On TikTok, on Instagram and things of that nature. And people are out here doing. Hand clap for those who do do those. Because of the simple fact that that stuff takes a lot of talent and work, right? Child, I tried. Trust me. I was like, I'm, I'm not. I don't have time to continue. I did, I did a few. I ain't posted though, because <laughs> I know y'all be coming for me. Y'all be watching, but I did it, and I was like, "Oh, child, I'm tired. Like, I can't be doing this." But people doing this every day—they cranking out this stuff every single day. They're propping their cameras up. 
they are people went out and I, with the silhouette challenge they went out and bought red light bulbs when they could have used a filter it was I, like it's been funny it's been hilarious and i commend the people that do it but us and i'm a reference you know us christian people us i'm gonna clue myself in it too because i'm a christian but i'm sick of us because we shaming and condemning these folks for just trying to get out of their space and their mind and be creative in the moment and if they post it on instagram it is what it is i haven't come across anybody that i know that's in the body of christ that have posted their videos uh, that I particularly know myself but maybe maybe y'all are posting it and that's well okay it's fine you don't get no judgment for me but I want us to stop doing that because like we already got not going on people over here depressed they fighting homelessness you know what I'm saying they don't know what to eat you know what they're gonna eat during the next day I mean this little meal right here thank God but only cost me no more than a dollar and the reason why I say dollars is because my mama got chickens and she gave me eggs and she gave me eggs. She got like 10 chickens. So I get free eggs now, fresh, cage free, organic. You know, I know where these eggs coming from, okay? So, um, but for, for a, a moment, for a point in time, I just feel like we as a people, as humans, need to stop present judgment. We already got a lot going. So that's my take, that's my piece on on that. I just wish y'all stop. We, us, I'm sorry. I meant to include us in it. I hope y'all can hear me. I got a microphone, a lapel mic somewhere. I don't know where it's at. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you probably glad you can't hear it because of the simple fact that I'm smacking and eating. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure you like But what else is on the dock? Um. We can't travel nowhere. I pulled out my passport the other day and I had to go blow the dust off of it. And I was like, I haven't been anywhere since September of 2019. And then when I did go, I went to Bali. It was like a random trip. I just jumped up and left. Bought a one-way ticket to Bali. Didn't know when I was coming back home because I needed a break, okay? And I've been to places as far as in the US last year you know visiting family and stuff like that but I need to get away who all needs to take a vacation and if you need to take a vacation where we going you know what I'm saying like where we going what we about to eat it um what else happened over the weekend oh man did y'all hear about uh the stock market so I was talking to a friend the other day and a couple of friends, and they was like, one thing about you, Ag <laughs> you, gonna, you, you ain't gonna be somewhere without making no money, and that's true. Like, I don't care. So, gotta give a little background to me as far as everybody that don't know me. You may be new here. My name is Agatha. I'm originally from Mississippi. I've been in Georgia for 20 plus years. I am a single mom of three. I have a 15 year old and a 15 year old boy, an 11 year old girl, and a five year old little boy. He'll probably be coming down the stairs in a minute asking for cereal. It's almost time for him to wake up. Um, the other two are in school during the day. The five-year-old, I just figured he's going to be the millionaire anyway. So, you know, give him time. He, he needs his time, right? He's super smart. But those are my three. I call them Marshall three. Marshall one, two, and three. Um, or my big three. And so I've been in my new home since October. Uh, but I come from a place where you would never think that I came from. I, now granted, for me, I would like to say, okay, all families have their issues and everything like that. But for me, I feel like I, I had a good childhood. Uh, I had a great childhood. I was, and so uh, I was married for 10 years. Child, I can't remember. Uh, no, it was... Yeah, it was almost to my 10 year mark, um, to my high school, people say high school sweetheart, but it was, I met him when I was in high school. Um, he is the father of my children. Um, and then when we got divorced, um, I used to live overseas. So I lived in Kuwait for about three years. My youngest is actually, was actually born there. Um, so I call him sometimes my Kuwaiti baby. 
Um, he knows a tad little bit of Arabic because I feel like he needed to stay true to his roots. He, I mean, he's still black, African-American, but you know, he's born in Kuwait, so it's pretty cool. His birth certificate is in all Arabic. Hopefully it says his name right. Um, and yeah, I think that's all about me. I mean, I have a couple of businesses, so I have a management company. Um, I am a business consultant. I do administrative work, clerical work for different types of businesses and nonprofits. I am also, uh, I own a telecommunications business, meaning that if you want to work from home, um, I know companies that outsource stay at home workers. And so hit me up if you want to know a little bit more about that. Um, I also started a production company in the middle of the Panini last year. And it has the talent, that's why I say production off, but the talent that I have when you see my team, when you see my team, you see me and vice versa. Literally, um, these people are amazing that I work with and I truly enjoy working with them, um, taking new heights and we're looking for some more people to add to the team. And um, yeah, I do a lot. I also am a consultant for a book publishing company. I kind of um, manage that company too as well. It's a lot. I actually got a lot going on over here and I, I do it. I do it all on my own. I don't have any assistance or anything like that. My friends step in when they see that I need help and I'm thankful for them. Um, but yeah, that's what I do. So welcome to my life. And then last but not least, this coming with Aggie um, is my baby. It, it's something that I love to do. A lot of people ask, do you cater? My mom caters, she's a mom caterer. I don't cater. Do you do meal prep? I don't. Uh, well, so what do you do? I teach people how to cook and cook on a budget because I'm a single mom of three growing kids. Um, I was able before the, the pandemic, the whatever you want to call it, before the, uh, I don't know who that is, FaceTiming me. Like, why do people think that they need to FaceTime me before they talk to me? Like, I don't get that. Like, you need to say hey and text message and then FaceTime me. I'm not that type of person. I just don't pick up random phone calls. It was like a random number. I don't know who that was. But anyways, um, before the panorama hit, I was able to have my groceries set for a full month for $300, $150 every two weeks. Groceries have went up now. So it's not the case. I'll be trying to stay on my budget, but it's just not the case. Like you, you can't. Bread is $4. Milk is almost $4. You can't even buy a bag of grapes without them being $12, you know? So, I'm kind of working on something to get it back down to $150 to have food. I'll show y'all my pantry. I, one day I'll do a tour of my refrigerator and my pantry to show y'all, like, we ain't just not, not got food over here. Like, we got plenty of food. They eat it up quick, but child, we got food. But that's basically me. Mm -hmm. I started this new venture of going into, you know, like diving into stocks. I've always been a person that has had um, interest in the stock market. My grandmother, grandfather, my mom and my daddy, like we got land and all this stuff, right? And they, my daddy taught the importance of investing into stock when he worked for a major corporation. And he was able to retire at the age, my daddy's not even 60 and he's retired. Let that sink in for you. My mom, um, she's not 60 and she's retired. Let that sink in. And so I had the, the guide on how to do it. And so, you know, I, I used to work in corporate America. And, you know, you always get the little 401k and, and invest in the stocks and all that, Roth and all that. I, I put a lot of money into that. So I had a lot of money taken out of my check to invest in that. So when I did leave corporate, I was set up pretty nice, pretty well, right? But anyway, I got back into investing um, just recently. And what the day that I wanted to jump in and try it out was the day when all the shit hit the fan, right? If y'all been keeping up, it's been intense. Um, and it show it goes to show you that if you take a little time and you kind of invest in the time if you want to learn something because that's something that I do that um, when I started my production company I didn't know what it meant but I knew that, that the job needed to be done so I figured it out um, as far as as insurance 
If I want to know anything about insurance, I'm gonna figure out I'm gonna study it. So though what I did was I studied the day that I wanted to jump in, all shit hit the fan, right? So if you're not following it, basically they the, the little person bankrupt the big person if you're following it, right? Um, and it was pretty fun. It, it was definitely an excitement. I'm very, I'm a very spontaneous person and I get excited, excited off of the thrills of things. And so I was just like all in like, oh my God, this and that. You know, it was a full blown day that I was just immersed in it and watching it on Twitter and, and um, everything like that. So. Yeah, if y'all, if y'all, I'm not a financial advisor, don't come ask me questions like what I missed in. I just do little, little simple stuff um, because I'm learning. But it was fun to see. It was fun to see. What else been going on? I mean, nothing else. Um, what are the plans for this and these segments? I don't know. I don't know. Um, just whatever come to mind. Like I said, I woke up this morning, and one thing about the Lord is, if He's giving you your purpose and you know what it is, you ain't finna sleep on it. Um, um, that camera went out. Ciao. That camera always go out. It overheats. This is the craziest thing. But um, what I was saying was. You know, God is not going to let up on you when it comes to your purpose. I feel like. And so, he don't let up on me with coming with Aggie. He just does it. And sometimes I'll be like, Lord, I don't want to do that. I'm trying to move into this new thing, this whole production thing. Um, or I'm trying to, you know, go into investment. And he, you know, he basically said, that's, that's cool and all. That's good. But at the end of the day, I told you to do something. And that's what you need to do. And so I woke up this morning. I said, I'm have a plan. I'm gonna get up about seven. And I just don't, I just don't hop up. I seen a meme the other day that said a toxic trick of mine is I'll get up on time and still lay in the bed until I'm late. That's me. And so I'm up at like I'm I'm naturally up at like 7 a.m. And so I was just laying in the bed, and that's where I saw the whole thing about telling the Christian women of God and the men of God to you know, stop doing the busted challenge and silhouette challenge. And then I got on up, got dressed, put some clothes on, and um, came downstairs. And I was like, what am I gonna cook? And I really wanted some rice and spinach and eggs. So here we are. So I think that that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm not gonna force myself to make it a big production. Right now, you see me on my cell, my cell phone. I have another camera. My, the lighting in my house is what we gonna use. Like God was like, I put you into that. There you go, you don't need to go buy no lights. I gave you light, turn on the lights on in your house. As it probably progresses and it moves on, then yeah, it'll be more of a better production. But at the end of the day, guess who funded it? And guess who we about to spend no money? So, it is what it is, that's what, that's what we doing. Um, outside of that, I don't know. I may hop in here and talk to y'all about me going to therapy. I may hop in here and talk to y'all about, you know, what's going on in the world. I may hop in here and talk to y'all about really nothing. I might, I might just sit him, just y'all just watch me eat. Uh, I don't know. So, if you rocking with me, rock with me. If you're not, that's cool. But we here. And I'm so thankful um, that you guys took your time out to watch and listen. Like I said, I'm gonna keep these very short and sweet. They're not gonna be long. Um or what happened. Um, last week I had a whole attitude and I talked about it a little bit and it was intense. Today I'm feeling a little better. Thank the Lord. I figured out what it was. Um and so so yeah. I'm excited. So I think I'm gonna end it here because I ain't got nothing else to talk about. I'm surprised my kids ain't come downstairs to see what I'm doing. They probably like, who are you talking to? But they get that. They get, I'm the type of mom 
I need to go get my nails done too. But I'm the type of mom, like I'll get up in the morning time. It'll be early, like 7 a.m., 8 o'clock a.m. And I know my kids be mad with me, but I'll get up, blast music. I just see my relative fans by. <laughs> blast music, um, singing. And with my kids, they know like if I'm turn if I have music on, I'm either getting ready to go, um, I'm cleaning up, or I'm about to cook. And so I had the music going on and Sarai was like, you leaving today? Like you leaving the house today? And I'm like, no, I'm not leaving the house today. I'm gonna be here basically all day today. So anyways, y'all, this right here is so good. Y'all even try it. It's my, um, I'm watching the charts. I must have just got a message. That's why that's going on. <sighs> Ciao. Anyways. Um, but yeah, that's easy. And make sure y'all eat y'all fruit. Get your orange. Let me ask y'all something real quick before I get off here. I'm gonna get off here because that's it. I'm gonna keep it at 30 minutes. I'm like two minutes out. Where is production? Okay? Because production need to be here to watch this other camera that I got up and running. I don't know why it's overheating. It's a brand new camera. And by the way, it was a gift. Somebody gave me this camera. It's so amazing, right? because they believed in me. And I finally gave it to me at the top of last year. And I finally broke it out. Um, but who peeled their oranges? Like, do y'all eat the little white part on the orange? Y'all eat that? Not me. You don't know. So I literally sit here and open this orange up and eat the inside out of it. Like, the, you know, like would be in the little cups, that the fruit cups that your kids be eating. Yes. I go in and I peel this white stuff off of it. I will, I will sit here and do this to this whole orange. It's almost um, satisfying a little bit, but I'll sit here and do it. I was doing it the other day and, and um, I was at a friend's and they were looking at me and they were like, why are you doing that? Cause I don't like to chew. It's like chewing a piece of meat and I don't eat meat. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and chew this skin. Y'all is crazy. So, I'll sit here and do that. I'm probably gonna sit here and do this for a little bit. Watch the charts, act, answer a few emails. Move forward. Y'all look at that light coming in. I'm trying to tell you. The Lord be setting it up. Look, I mean, it literally got bright. Thank you, Lord, even though it's the end of my video. <laughs> I appreciate you, though. You giving me a sign that I need to bring my little tail, really 10, 10 self over here and sit down and do these things. Y'all, at FYI too, I need a dining room table. Somebody gifted me my dining room table, but the issue is I can't get one delivered on time, the one that I want. I do not want to settle, okay? Let's just say that. I don't want to settle on a dining room table just because. But I have one that I want and in mind, but it just takes so long. They don't um, And then two, if I do, there's another one that I wanted that I saw on Wayfair and they can't deliver it to my address because I'm a new construction, new build community. Um, but I guess that's the case because child, I barely get mail. It'd be intense. I be getting mail and it's the stuff be past due. I said, thank the Lord for, uh, I don't even know why this, I be still be getting mail because I try to sign up everything on paperless, but you know, the other day I just got somebody a Christmas card. Like literally two days ago. It's almost February. I got somebody a Christmas card in the middle. Um, but yeah, I need help. So anybody in Atlanta know where I can go get one. Um, I'll post some pictures probably of what I actually want, the type of table that I want uh, with the dining room chairs and move it. But somebody gifted me my dining room table, uh, which is so, so sweet of them. Um, but yeah. I said I was gonna give the little worker crew across the street some coffee and donuts. Oh, so I used to buy uh, gift cards and I may do that. Go get like a couple of Chick-fil-A gift cards or Starbucks gift cards or Dunkin' Donuts gift cards. And give them out to the people. Cause they be working hard. They be working hard. All right, I'm gone. Love y'all men and make your choices. Be a leader. Don't be average. Be savage. Keep Christ first. Ladies, you are beautiful. Fellas, y'all got that. Remember to drink y'all water. Eat y'all vegetables and your fruit. 
we in a whole uh, panorama. Thank y'all for joining. Come eat with Aggie. I love y'all tremendously. And remember, the marathon continues. All right, bye, y'all. Yes. That was good, Agatha. <sighs> Got to stop calling me, though. Like, I don't understand. Remember, I didn't put my phone on. Do not deserve while I'm filming. Like, why y'all call? All right. Bye, y'all. Let y'all make good choices.